Hey YouTube, this is NJ for Water 5 and uh, today I'm going to do a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, when I first started in DIYing, the original reason why I got into DIY is because I wanted to build speakers. You know, it's, I started seeing all these Bluetooth speakers popping up and they were all small and they sounded great and I got myself one of those Harman Carmen 3s or whatever it is, a big old speaker. And it was a, it's a small speaker but man it fills the room with sound and I was like man I bet you I could recreate that so I started doing a lot of research and I found out that most of those guys were using 18650s and so uh, there was a guy named Modine um, I'll leave his link down in my uh, down in the description Modine builds these Pelican uh, Bluetooth speakers and mine's not as good as the one he did of course but uh, you know this is my first one. I have planned on making about four other ones. I've already made one. I'll probably throw that video out a little bit later. Um, that, one was, that one was mainly a desktop kind of speaker I was making. This one's more portable. Uh, the other one's portable too, but this one's portable. Um, this one I'm giving to my wife. Um, yeah, uh, Modine builds uh, all kinds of Pelican cases. Nice, nice speakers. I mean, I mean professional they look so professional so I started watching all his videos and then I started getting into the batteries and I came across Jehu of course and I'll leave his link in the description too I know most of you guys probably already know who he is but uh I started getting into the batteries and it became an addiction but then I kind of put the Bluetooth speakers on the back burner you know for a while I never messed with them and I bought all the stuff for it I had like probably two three thousand dollars worth of you know speakers and uh, amps and you know whatever I needed just to build Bluetooth speakers and uh, after I got into the you know the batteries I started building power supplies and uh, soldering irons and I mean you name it look you can see my channel I mean I just I just blew up with it you know I just went crazy with it but uh, the next series of videos you're probably going to see a bluetooth speaker too inside there you know i'm going to make sure because i got quite a few other ones and i'm going to build two probably this year along with all the other projects i have um but here is uh me throwing this bluetooth speaker together
there you have it YouTube my uh, take on a Pelican 1050 Dayton audio Bluetooth portable speaker um, the sound check went pretty good uh, the only thing I heard was a little rattle and it's actually I don't know if you could if you can hear it you know in the sound check I tried to listen to the video earlier and I couldn't tell if I heard it or not but one of these little clips are kind of rattling against the metal back in the back but that's an easy fix all I gotta do is open this up you know throw a dab of hot glue on there and that'll be done um, I plan on using this to keep it charged you know periodically I'll open it up and make sure the cells stay balanced but I try to make you know the cells that I put in there are the closest match that I could find uh, with the highest uh, capacity that I had um, all I have to do is make sure that the power button is off and I plug it in it's got like this little light on here and it turns green whenever it's charging red when it's done it's pretty neat it's one of those chargers you get on eBay not sure if I have any links yet I'm gonna have to go back and look because a lot of the stuff I bought a couple years ago um, and uh, you know like I said it barely took me till now to start getting into building these Bluetooth speakers uh, the speakers that I use were ND65-4 Dayton Audio Neo Balance series uh, the Bluetooth was a Tiny Shine uh, X000UTLX17 Bluetooth audio receiver board, wireless stereo hi fi amplifier sound module. Um, I hear a little bit of feedback, but it ain't nothing I need to worry about. You can't tell once the music's playing. Um, I don't know if it's just the one I have in there. I'll find out when I use this next one. The. Uh, the amp I used was a Dayton Audio Class T Digital Audio Amplifier Module DTA-2. Um, I'll try to find links like I said and I'll throw them in the description so you, if you guys decide you want to build these. I uh, can't remember where I got the Pelican case from but uh, whenever I was looking for all my Pelican cases I found this company and they were like a... Um, uh, trying to think what they were it was a strange company I didn't even think that they would have these and they had these and they were the cheapest I could find off of eBay Amazon any place man they were way cheaper and the more you bought the cheaper it was of course so I bought like I bought two of these and three of these other kind uh, you'll see in another video um, the passive speaker I just found in China I just found myself like a little three inch uh, at the time uh, they have these three inches and when I went to reorder so I could put them in other Bluetooth speakers they sent me a different size it was three and a half inch and I was kind of angry about it but I finally talked to the vendor and the vendor said that they didn't make these little tiny ones anymore so I wish I would have got my hands on one of those but all I bought was two at the time but that's not a big deal I can make the three and a half inch ones work with my upcoming projects um, let's see a little parts and pieces are just basic stuff you get off eBay you know the little uh, 5 volt I think that's a buck converter <clears throat> it takes any voltage you know higher than 7 and turns it into 5 volts uh, 12 and 5 it should stay pretty cool um, of course you know I don't think there's anything else in here it's major components except for the batteries the batteries I got from uh, the, the kid I always bought my batteries from these, uh, these NCR 18650s so yeah um, do you guys have any questions you know something I could probably done better you know because I'm not a professional in no way shape or form and they look nowhere like Modines but uh, yeah it's my first one I'm actually happy with it but uh, if you have any suggestions or shoot if you just like the video just comment in the comment section if you have any other questions or if you have an idea that you'd like to see me build in the future go ahead and leave them in the comment section please like subscribe and share and i will check you guys out in my next video